What's up guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig and we're going to be going over the markets starting off with silver and gold going into the Dow Jones, S&P, NASDAQ. Then we'll look at the dollar and 10-year yields and then of course Bitcoin. Has anything changed in the macro yet? Absolutely not in my opinion. Stick around for this whole video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. One thing I'm curious of though, um, I want to know from those that carry a normal job down below is it harder to um, get by with the prices of things or whatever? Are you still struggling with compared to like three years ago, right? Are you struggling with how things are um, money wise, monetary wise? Just curious in the comment section down below. I think a lot of people still are. We'll see. But let's take a look at silver. Silver, we are still looking for our target of 15 60 right in that range if that breaks down to seven or eight bucks yes i still think we are going to see the biggest money grab in history the good thing about it is it's huge opportunity guys people just don't get it they want to look at the negative because i say the markets are going down but the reality of it is is that is huge opportunity huge 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 opportunity i think the people that are buying up at these levels aren't going to see these levels for a very long time Let's take a look at gold, our gold targets. Still the same as two years ago. I think we triple topped over here. I'm looking for the 1565 to 1430. If that breaks, we have much lower targets, as you can see here. Kind of going to zip through this quick. NASDAQ, as you guys know, my NASDAQ's target is right around 12.4, 12.5, somewhere in this area where we broke out of this rising wedge. Nothing's changed here. We got a bounce from our FIB level at the 0.236 at 14.43. I think eventually this will break. Our next support here is about 200 EMA at about 14.2. And looking at the Dow, the Dow is looking like it's turning back around to the downside. As you guys know, my target for the Dow, um, first target is around 27.3, which is a one-to-one -one extension, right? Looking for this area. If that breaks, so we have lower targets around 22. And then, of course, if that breaks, much, much lower. Biggest money grab in history. I do think it's coming. I have not changed my opinion on that one bit. Let's take a look at S&P. S&P, like I said, we broke this rising channel. Our target for that is around 37.7. Again, much lower targets, if I'm correct about the biggest money grab in history, which I do still think is coming. I'm going to keep repeating that. So here's another one. This is the DXY. It is pumping again. Remember, if we get back above this 106.9, hold it for support. Our next target is 109. 109, after that, if it breaks, hold support. 115, I've showed you how I got these targets many a times. If you haven't seen it, uh, go watch the videos Let's take a look at the 10-year yield. As you guys know, I have two targets here, 7 and 8.2. We need to break this 5% range. It is definitely beating on it here. Uh, this chart, These charts are all very old, guys, a couple years old, still playing out beautifully. That is why I do not flip-flop like a dead fish or a dying fish like most of these YouTubers bullish this day, bearish this day, bullish this day, new all-time highs this day, new lows this day, blah, blah, blah. Still new lows incoming, in my opinion. If I'm wrong, I'll let you know. If I, When I do think I'm wrong, but so far, this macro chart, these macro charts are just playing out too perfect, guys. Um, so if you guys are interested in trading, right before we get into Bitcoin, you're going to want to stick around. I have some very cool things to show you in the charts but uh, if you are interested in trading, you can trade tons of Forex, gold, silver, crypto, gold, silver, everything all from Prime XBT. Link is down below in the description. They are a supporter of this channel. Definitely check them out if you haven't already. They have an awesome platform. Your trades get filled when they're supposed to. Never had a problem with them. Also, um, they have a new crypto futures section, which is more set up like the all the other crypto exchanges, right? But they still have the traditional one here. So definitely check them out. You can use my promo code SAVVY50. That'll get you up to a $7,000 bonus. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off of your trading fees. Uh, you can use both them promo codes at the same time. Again, links down below. I'll leave a tutorial up top. Let's take a look at where we're at here with the these are the CME gaps. We've had I've showed you guys this chart many a times. We have a bunch of gaps down here from 35, 76, 97 and 11. 
we came up, we tagged our last gap. That was the last gap to the high right here, as you can see. Let me zoom in. Actually, perfectly. We nailed it, and it does look like we're coming down from here. As you guys know, I've been talking about the wick off distribution. I do think it is a very good possibility that we have confirmed it, but let's take a look. So here it is. This is the line I had drawn. Obviously, you can see we got a little higher. Let me get rid of this stuff now. But either way, we broke our up thrust, just like I told you. Remember, if you watched the last few videos, I told you if we break this buying climax line, we could look for a higher high, which we got. Now, let's take this off. Let's throw a new one over here. This could be right there, just like that, guys. Um... This looks bad. It looks like it's finally happening. I know there's going to be some naysayers, but uh, let's see how it plays out. I still think there's a very good possibility this is what's going on. As you can see right here, looks like it's playing out beautifully. This one a little bit higher than I suspected or expected, but as you can see, I do think this is what we're looking for. Now, when would be the opportune short right now if this happens, but would be the break of this buying climax line and that would be right around 31,000. So we break below that 31,000. I think it's going to be a pretty swift move down to maybe 26, 27, probably get a little bounce. But nevertheless, then once this uh, let's get this down a little bit, this automatic reaction line once that breaks It'll probably be even quicker. Now, I know I've been saying for two years, and remember, two years ago, I talked about the bottom being in October, September, October. Maybe it's taking a little longer. Either way, this thing is still playing out, in my opinion. We have much lower lows coming, guys. Still, my targets for the last two years for the bottom of this market have been 35 to 9,700. They're still my targets. All right, as you can see, let's talk about the bubble pops a little bit, right? Bubble pops. Smart money. Let, let's talk about that real quick. What is this? This is smart money that was buying down here, dumping on people's heads right here when you break this high, right? Just like we did back in 2021. Same exact pattern, guys. Distribution. All right here is accumulation, and then your distribution. Then they dump on your heads after they break this high, and that's where we're at right now, in my opinion. Now, same thing, bubble pops. It, it all coincides, right? It's all the same point of the same stuff. So the Sony bubble pop, um, it's been 20 years, still hasn't hit its new all-time high. That's why I think it'll be a very long time before Bitcoin actually hits a new all-time high. No, I don't believe Bitcoin's dead, but I do believe that this is going to take a while. Remember, bubbles return to where they began. You can see here, Bitcoin's bubble really began down in this range. So... That's what I'm looking for. Same thing, Nintendo. Let's get these on here. So looking at Nintendo, it began way over here, right? You get your fake rallies, right? I don't want to say fake rallies or real rallies, but they're to entice people to get into it just so they can take your money. And we've seen it. We're seeing it again right here. Um, and it just so happens that it's printing a perfect wick off distribution phase at the top of this right here's the amazon bubble same thing bubbles return to where they began just like i believe this one will nintendo it's been 15 years still hasn't reached its all-time high after the bubble pops it takes a long time to return to the new highs right amazon took from let's see 99 all the way till 09, 20 years before it broke its all-time high, guys. Wait, is that right? Oh, no, it took 10 years to break its all-time high, right? So if that's the case, it would be 10 years, let's say 9 or 10 years from 2021. So, so let's say sometime between 2027 and 2030 to break its new all-time high. If this bubble pop pattern plays out like prior bubble pop patterns. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Also, you're still just making lower highs and lower lows with a new lower lower to come, in my opinion. Let me know what you think down below. And I am curious to see how inflation is feeling to you. I know they're making the numbers seem not so bad anymore, but if you just look around, things don't look that good, guys. Um, and that's not negative, right? 
You got to find the positive in it. There is going to be huge opportunity coming with the biggest money grab in history. Once everything gets towards the bottom, it could be a great time to get in, guys. Take it easy. Have a great day. Don't forget, smash the like, subscribe to the channel. Check out these videos above, and I'll see you in the next one.